everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Zacatecas Silver Corp, Brian Slasarchuk. How are you doing today, Brian? Doing really well, Rich. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Excited to have you on the show. Congratulations on the new IPO. Yeah, great. Yeah, we're very excited about the launch. And of course, while we just started to trade as a public company, the land acquisition process and land assembly has been a process that's taken some time and we're just ecstatic to launch this premier silver land package on the TSX Venture. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. So tell us about Zekataka Silver Corp and how long you have been involved in the mining sector. Sure. My involvement in the mining sector uh, goes back uh, many years. Uh, I was a broker focused on mining finance prior to, in 2006, leaving that side of the business to get directly involved with the public companies. I've been involved in a number of different gold and silver companies over a period of time, uh, notably to some people in the sector, of course, was my involvement in K92 mining, where I was a co-founder, former president, and K92 has created some great wealth for early shareholders, and also importantly, has just provided some huge upside to stakeholders. Zakataka Silver was purpose formed for a large land position in Zacatecas, Mexico. We have a historic silver resource that we will be looking to confirm and expand. And for those of you that don't know, Zacatecas is really the best postal code uh, for high grade silver exploration. And that's where our tagline originated from, the world's best address for high grade silver. I love that tagline. What are your main focuses for Zacataca Silver Corp now that you have just IPO'd? Sure. Number one, we have a great historic silver resource on the project, and our goal will be to confirm that resource while also targeting significant expansion of that historic silver resource. Outside of expanding, confirming the historic silver resource, there are multiple exploration targets of high priority on this property. Now, when we were looking around the world for silver assets, we knocked on a lot of doors. We looked at a lot of silver projects and our in-house geologist became known within our group as Dr. No. He turned down project after project after due diligence. When he did the due diligence work on Zakataka Silver, he came back not only with a recommendation to move forward, but he came back extremely excited. Number one, because of the historic silver resource and the ability to target significant expansion of that silver resource. But at the same time, these exploration targets that have never been looked at in a large scale systematic way, uh, included within that exploration potential, we've now traced what we believe to be an extension of the world famous Veta Grande vein wow. onto our property for approximately three kilometers. So that vein system coming onto our property is very important. It's been tested in a very small way in the past. And in addition to targeting expansion at the Pinoco deposit historic resource, we'll also be drilling targets like that extension of the Veta Grande vein system that has seen such limited past work. The commodity sector has had a decent run, especially over the last couple of years, but as of late has really slowed down ever since gold hit its all time highs last year. And I hear silver is a very heavily shorted commodity. Can you tell us how Zekataka Silver Corp plans to set itself apart from the rest of the competition in the silver sector? Well, absolutely. Number one, we'll set ourselves apart with this land package. Very large land package in what is arguably the world's most important region for high-grade silver exploration. Number two, 
we have this large land package within a very well-structured public vehicle, being Zacataca Silver. We're well-funded. And at a very early stage as a private company, we attracted great institutional support from some of Canada's best precious metals mining funds, and also from Mr. Eric Sprott, oh. who's perhaps the most famous silver investor in the world. And I think that speaks volumes as to the quality of this silver project. We have a management team that has a track record of creating wealth in precious metals situations around the world. And I think what sets us apart is we're entering this opportunity at a time where we're very bullish on silver, but we're right at the cusp of a move. And, and one thing that sets us apart as a team is we do pick up assets when the general mood in the sector is negative. And we showed that early days with K92 mining, where we picked up just a, a magnificent gold asset when gold was out of favor. We did the same thing here with Zacataca Silver. We acquired and assembled this premier land package when silver was out of favor. We think now we're on the cusp of what's potentially a once in a generation silver bull. And that's of course, because of not only the investment demand, but the huge growing demand for silver in electrification. Yeah, electric vehicles right now, they need silver and silver, like you said, is on the verge of a massive bull market. Zacataca Silver Corp announced that its property is located in the highly prospective Fresnillo Silver Belt, which has produced over 6.2 billion ounces of silver. Can you tell us what this means for Zacataca Silver Corp? Absolutely, Rich. Uh, an investor mentioned to me the other day a great uh, line that I, I thought was very appropriate in terms of Zacatacus. And he said that Zacatacus has the 90210 zip code for silver miners. In other words, it is the place that you want to be if you're on the lookout for high grade silver. Zacatacus as a region was very famous worldwide for silver production. You can see through the historic silver production numbers that Zacatacus was a huge driver of economic activity in Mexico uh, for centuries. And this continues to this day. In fact, in the 1600s, the roads to and from Zacatacus became known as the silver paths throughout Mexico. And that's really indicative of how important silver mining is to this region. So the address and the location is very important. It's also very important that we're starting out with a great historic silver resource that we will look to confirm and expand, that we have a huge property in this region with multiple exploration targets. We're well-funded to tackle the work on the ground. As I mentioned, we're very fortunate to have support from investors such as Eric Sprott. And being in Zacatacus is really where you want to be if you're interested in high-grade silver. Can you break down for the audience today how much money Zacatacus Silver has raised in its initial public offering and what it plans to use the funds for? Sure, we've raised a total since inception of approximately $10 million. We will use the funds for resource confirmation, drilling and work, including metallurgy, et cetera. We will use it for resource expansion at our Pinoco deposit. We'll use it to test the dozens of exploration targets we have on this huge land package, including, as I mentioned, what we interpret to be an extension of the Veda Grande vein system onto our property. So the work will be very intense on site. And from a capital markets perspective, that will ensure that we have a very steady stream of news flow over the next several weeks and indeed over the next several months. Share structure is vital to our community. We love responsible companies, responsible management who really understand the importance of a tight share structure. So can you give us a breakdown of Zekataka Silver Corp share structure and how much is held by insiders? Absolutely. 
we have approximately 52 million shares issued. We have zero warrants. In addition to management and employees holding approximately 35%, we do have other large institutional shareholders. And of course, uh, Eric Sprott, as I've mentioned. So this share structure is a nice tight share structure. And what that ensures, in my opinion, is that as we have good results stemming from our work on site, the shares can really react well. And like I say, Rich, there are no warrants issued. What you see is what you get. It's a simple, tight share structure with some great institutional support, management with real skin in the game. And therefore, I think that we have a very exciting period ahead as we get to work on site drilling and uh, creating news flow as a result of those fundamental efforts. K92 mining was actually a huge winner. I actually owned the stock years ago before the huge explosion. And I sold it because gold wasn't moving, like you said. And then I looked back like last year and I was like, oh my goodness, this stock went up like a thousand percent. It literally exploded. So you did incredible there. So if you guys are able to do a similar thing here, uh, the upside is tremendous for investors. So I'm very excited to see what you guys are going to be able to accomplish. And then to have Eric Sprott, like you said, Mr. Silver involved, that is like the guy. Like if you're looking for one guy to put his check mark and say, I like this, this pick, that's the guy when it comes to silver. If you got Eric Sprott in your deal, you got a solid project. So uh, I think you guys are doing all the right things. And as a brand new IPO, very excited to see where you guys are going to go. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders that are watching from all over the world, that are going to learn about Zach Attack is Silver Corp today, what would it be? I think that the key thing for investors and potential investors in Zach Attack is Silver to understand is that while we have a great starting point, in the historic resource at Pinoco. We also have enormous potential at Pinoco for expansion and in other areas of the property through exploration. And that while this is a great historic resource as a starting point to get in and confirm and target expansion on, the exploration upside is really providing a lot of the blue sky. And despite this being in one of the world's most prolific silver districts, it has had quite limited modern and systematic exploration. And that to us provides a lot of blue sky out of the gate. One of our key members of our team, Dr. Chris Wilson, who is ex Ivanhoe, is a fabulous geologist and getting Chris and his team looking at this district with a different set of eyes, with different interpretations, with the newest and best technology, gives us a big leg up on unlocking the value at Zacatacus. So I think that while people will concentrate on Pinoco, I want everybody to understand that the upside here goes above and beyond Pinoco in a big way. And like you say, with Eric Sprott's involvement, I think that it, there, there's no better investor in the world in the silver space and to have his endorsement by being an investor early is just a real pleasure and it's something uh, that we appreciate and over time we want to show that that uh, endorsement via his investment was a very intelligent move and i think that we have the opportunity to do that that's super exciting. Now, Rich TV Live has investors in over about 100 countries that will be watching this video. A lot of them are going to be interested in contacting you. Potentially other resource companies may want to contact you to do a joint venture, to do some business. So many different companies are now watching Rich TV Live. What is the best way for someone who's interested in getting in contact with you, Brian, to reach you? Well, we trade on the TSX Venture just listed with the symbol ZAC or ZAC for those of you in the United States and other parts of the world. ZakatakaSilver.com is our website and people can find contact information there, including telephone number, email sign up, etc. And we look forward to hearing from 
our shareholders as uh, they join us on this ride to discovery in one of the world's most important regions for silver exploration, silver development, and silver mining. Super excited to see how everything unfolds. We are speaking with Brian, Brian Slasarchuk, the CEO of Zekatakis Silver Corp. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Please consult a financial advisor. Chances are your financial advisor is going to say, oh, wow, Eric Sprott's invested. Probably a good pick. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring in the winners, and we bring them to you first. Thank you, Brian, for joining us, and we wish you all the best of luck. Thanks a lot, Rich. Thank you for joining us, and thank you guys for watching. This is Rich from Rich to be Live, bringing you Zakatakis Silver Corp, a company that's a brand new IPO. Put it on your watches, put it on your radar, a silver stock. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.